What is a look ahead plan? Planning is one of the most important parts of a successful construction project. But planning is not one dimensional. On most projects, you'll have your master schedule, a compass that spans years or sometimes even decades. But once you've got that in place, you need something that gives you and your team a more manageable and in-depth view of what's happening on your project over the next few weeks. Hi, I'm Chloe from Apex, the construction scheduling software that helps delivery teams work together and quickly build their short-term plans. In this video, we're going to be talking about look-ahead plans, what they are, what goes into one, and what it takes to build and maintain one effectively. As always, you'll get the most out of the video if you stick around for the whole thing, but if you want to skip a section ahead or go back to listen to something again, you can do so by using the timestamp bar at the bottom of the video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that you're alerted every time we post another video. Now, let's talk look-aheads. There's a pretty good chance you've already been working with look-ahead plans, even if you're not familiar with the term. That's because there are loads of variations and names of look-ahead plans that are pretty much the same thing, just wrapped in a different label. A bit like walking down the little own brand aisle. Some popular terms include LAPs, make ready plans, short term plans, weekly phase plans, weekly work plans, or weekly schedules. If any of this sounds familiar, then good news. You've been in the world of look ahead planning a lot longer than you might have thought. So what is a look ahead? Well, to put it simply, it's a detailed breakdown of your high level plan, which as I mentioned earlier, can often be called a master schedule or a phase plan. A look ahead zooms in on what is happening in the near future, sometimes looking at the next three weeks, sometimes looking at the next 12 weeks or anything in between. This focus lets teams detail out what actually needs to happen in order for different parts of the project to progress, which allows them to prepare goals and activities for the next few weeks. For example, a column isn't just a column. It's tying rebar, formwork, the concrete pour, removal. You get it. And each of these different parts require specialist teams, different materials, different areas on site, and different plants. But it would be pretty intense to block all of that information out on our high level plans, right? So the look ahead lets the project teams break down activities into more detail as they draw closer. They help clearly define what work can and can't be performed as expected, what's changing out on site every day, and they help with handovers between teams, subcontractors, gangs, and different trades. Now, an important thing to note about look ahead plans is that they keep moving, they're not static. So as you complete the earliest week of your look ahead, a new week is added in at the end by your scheduling team so that that window keeps moving as your project progresses. Ultimately, the goal of your look ahead plan is to identify and remove roadblocks or obstacles that could prevent execution of the plan. As these continuously change in expected and unexpected ways, so can your look ahead. By this point, you should have a pretty good idea of what a look ahead plan is. But why should you care about them? Well, you should care for a whole host of reasons. A major one being that they are the main way construction plans are communicated. And as we all know, communication is key for successful delivery on construction projects. Look ahead plans are directly linked to the master plan. And so every change on them has the potential to impact the entire project. For example, the smallest delay on a single activity out on site could lead to subcontractors being unable to deliver the work that they're expected to. And just like that, construction projects might suffer from serious delays, which opens the door to legal disputes and budget overruns. But with good look ahead planning, you can identify these kind of issues early and avoid those delays. This also increases productivity. Sounds pretty good, right? Now you've got a good grasp on this whole look ahead thing, you might be wondering who actually makes the plan and what they include. On construction projects, a whole host of different people in different roles, on different teams, in different divisions, all contribute to the look ahead plan. From teams out on site running what's happening right now, through to project managers that might only need to check in once a month. Look aheads are shared far and wide from the very beginning of a project right through until the very end. This means that there are vast amounts of people over the course of a project that might need to see, access or update them. When it comes to building a look ahead, there are a few popular things that are normally included. Consider things like daily labor needs, separated by trade, equipment, and materials needed on a particular day. 
detailed requirements of major milestones, work items separated on a crew-by-crew -crew basis, material deliveries, subcontractor details, and locations and work areas. These are just a few of the most common choices that we see, and in reality, your look ahead could include a whole lot more. If you're managing your look ahead plans with Apex, then all of this is a lot easier to stay on top of than it might sound. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video. I remember writing that like a year ago, and I was like, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> like genuinely.